Hello and welcome to another one of my video tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to download a website using C Sharp. So the first thing you have to do when you want to download a website is make sure you have the proper uh, imports. So we're going to go using system.io and using system.net. The system.io will allow us to actually download the file or the website that we're going to be downloading and the system.net will allow us to create the request and get the response. So the code for performing this task is, of course, when you want to download a file, and by file I mean it can be a website file or an image file or any sort of media at all on the internet, but of course the first thing you want to do is have a URL to it. So we go string URL equals, and then we can give it anything, any website right here. I will use my homepage, silverislandmedia.com, as the test subject for this program. And now that we have the URL request for the file that we're going to download, the next step will be to actually create the request. So we use this object built into, it's actually in the system.net header that we included, and it's called HTTP Web Request. And so we say HTTP Web Request, and then we, it's a data type well, a class, and we call it request equals, and then we cast the result as a parenthesis HTTP Web Request, close parenthesis and we say HTTP web request dot create open parenthesis and then we pass it in the URL so this is a built-in object that's inside the system dot net header file and this object allows us to create an, a request for a website and so after we've created this request the next step will be to get the response from it so we go HTTP web response response equals and then we cast the result again as HTTP parenthesis HTTP web response close parenthesis but instead we go request dot get response so you can see what we do is we get the response from the request object based off of the request that we just sent and this will actually give us everything we need the last thing to do is to go stream reader reader equals a new stream reader open parenthesis and then we just say response dot get response stream open close parenthesis close parenthesis semicolon and then we go string html equals reader dot read to end so what we've just done is we created a, a stream that allows us to basically download all the information we need we set it equal to the response that we got from the website and then we create a string that stores the result of our of our uh, stream reader and then we read the entire thing to the end and this will pretty much only work if it is um, an ASCII type document like a website if you try to download a picture this is not the way you would do it but for now I'll keep it simple and so then the next step would be to go console.write HTML and then do some cleanup like reader.close reader.dispose and once you've done that, you should be able to go build, start without debugging. And here is my website, all in its HTML glory. So that is really all there is to downloading an HTML file from a website. 